guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for coming back if you've been here before and welcome if you're new. We are so happy to have you here. So this week's video is our monthly grocery haul. So it's that time of the month again already. It's flying. Um, <laughs> I feel like yesterday I was doing December monthly grocery haul and now Christmas is over, New Year's is over, it's January, it's a bit blah, right? It's freezing cold and we're just back to like kind of normality, I suppose. So um, yeah, it's a uh, monthly grocery haul. We are um, doing Tesco, Aldi, Costco again, our usual. I did consider going to Little this time, but I don't know. I just, I, I'm happy with Aldi. I know Aldi. I like my Aldi that I go to, like the experience to go to Aldi. Mine's nice and clean and like organized and I know where everything is. And then also just like the qualities there. And I don't know, I think doing little maybe for a weekly top up again would be okay, but maybe not my whole monthly grocery haul. Anyway, so I did Aldi again, Tesco, Costco, the usual three suspects, okay? Um, so if you've not been here before and you wonder what we're doing, I do a monthly grocery haul. And so I go a huge shop every month, um, pretty close to when I get paid. It sets, resets my month. Um, and I do a huge monthly grocery haul and I hit all three stores and get basically anything that will last in my pantry, my freezer and my fridge for a month. And then once a week I go little top up grocery haul. So I will do like fresh veg and stuff that we've run out of, etc. I've basically been doing this process for probably, um, maybe a, two or three years, probably this way. I just kind of tried it out, think could it help with my budgeting and sticking to budget. And it has done the majority of it and obviously stops me from going to the grocery store multiple times a week and like every night thinking, oh, I need this for dinner or that. I'm prepared and I know I do my monthly menu, um, which is just on my little scrap of paper here. So I do a menu for the month um, and it's pretty fluid. Like if we decide, oh, it says this this week and I don't wanna do that, I could just swap it for something else and then I know that I can replace um, the meal later on in the month with what I didn't do tonight, if you know what I mean. So it's pretty fluid. It's not like stick and stone, like I have to have this, but it helps me prepare. It helps me know as well in the morning when I get up what to get out of the freezer and what to prepare for dinner for that night, especially when we're all working and at school and stuff and it's busy, 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 right? So it's helps with budget, helps with planning and just preparedness of life, I find. So it's really good. Um, so saying that, let me show you what I've got this month from uh, the stores. And, and then at the end, I will show you, I will talk to you about my meal plan for this week. And then also what I spent at all three stores. Okay, now this is my Tesco haul. Um, excuse the noise in the background. We've got Brody's playing with a basketball. Madison's got the shopping bags. It's chaos. Okay, so as usual, all of Madison's packets. Again, these are what goes with her to the childminder just because it's easier. Um, she likes them. We know she's getting fed. Anyway, she's more and more eating what we've got, but I like to stock up and just have lots of options for if we go out or I don't know, when the childminder, things like that. Okay, so some, lots of different options for her. The usual Heinz, the Tesco own brands, the Ellis Kitchen, all that good stuff. Ellis Kitchen is on club card for five for four. Um, so I made sure I got five of those to get the deal. Um, and then I've got some 10 classic of the Herta hot dogs. Um, these are the best hot dogs I've found in this country, the Herta brand. They taste nice. Um, I do usually like the um, classic, which are a lot thicker, but they're so much more expensive and you only get four in those and we get 10 in these. So it's good, good for our menu of chili dogs. And we have those um, sweet corn and carroty melty sticks, which are Madison's favorite little snack. So we got those again. I treated myself to some more dash waters. <laughs> Sorry, it's chaos in this house. Right, um, it's almost bedtime. So we're almost there for the day, right? Um, dash waters. So I got the raspberry infused sparkling water and the other one is peach infused sparkling water. So these are my favorite. Um, they're actually on club card for four pound. Um, so it cost me eight pound for both. So instead of, I think four pound 50, they usually are. So you're saving some money there on your club card. And then I got these wraps for myself. Um, these are the Deli Kitchen six carb light wraps. So they have a lot less carbs than normal wraps. Try and see in here. So per tortilla, it's 14.6 grams of carbs. 
And if you're doing the keto, you know, net carbs, you take away the far fiber at six. So about um, eight net carbs, I suppose. So it's a lot better than a usual. I think the unusual ones are like 30 carbs. I don't know. Anyway, trying to be better, trying to think about things better, trying to be healthy. Um, and then I needed bread for lunches tomorrow because I haven't been, um, I haven't been to Aldi yet to get my main shop. Again, it's because it's a weekday and I'm just doing the best I can. Um, so all this will be in the same video, but you guys, for you guys, but for me, it's a couple days of um, shopping. So I got some white bread because I needed it for sandwiches and toast in the morning. So just some Tesco white bread. Um, I got um, two cans of refried beans um, and then four packs of the Tesco taco seasoning. We like this on our burritos, tacos, um, taco salads. Um, and it's the cheapest one at Tesco. It's my own brand. And then I got some roast chicken drumsticks because Brody would ask, has been asking for these for lunch, for in his lunch. He likes those. So that's what I got him. Um, and then last food item is um, a tub of, I can't believe it's not butter because we need those for toast. Um, it's the end of the, was the end of the month. Finally, grocery haul day. So we're short on things. So that's why we're getting all the goods. <laughs> and then cleaning supplies. So fairy non-bio, um, pods they're again on club card um the comfort um lasting freshness softness blue skies we like that one it smells really good this stuff and it lasts a little while so we like that um some tesco stainless steel cleaner i need that for like my hob and my fridge and then the flash um spray wipe done i got the uh right the bright mandarin again because i like that smell and um yeah so that was available and then I got some fairy liquid, washed up liquid, which we always need. So that is my Tesco haul for today. And part of my major monthly grocery haul, people. <laughs> okay, so this is my Costco haul. Usual suspects, same things usually that I usually get. Try to be quite, um, just stick to the list, get what we need to get. So um, the velvet hummus, the two pack, um, these are really good. We love these. Um, I actually be careful when you pick these up because I picked one up and one fell on the floor and went everywhere in the middle of the Costco. So I was very embarrassed today when I did that. Anyway, um, and then some red grape, purple grapes, um, for everyone's lunches and snacks. And then have to get the pancakes again. These are the 25 portions with two in each portion. Um, Madison's been loving these for breakfast and, um, Rich, take these to work for snacks. A Caesar salad. This was the deal of the day. This was £1.98 for this Caesar salad. If I could have gotten a couple more that were like, because there was only like, this was the latest day on them, the 18th. Um, the other ones were like literally tomorrow. Um, so I don't know if they're trying to get rid of them or something. And obviously, I don't think you can freeze this. Um, it's probably a bit soggy when you um, defrost it. So, but that was the deal of the day. One pound ninety eight, amazing. Um, and then, okay, something that's not food related, but Brody needed these, and we got them from there before. He's just worn a huge hole in his legs of these because he wears these for um, soccer. So he'll wear them under his shorts and his kit um, to obviously keep him warm. And he's just worn a huge hole in the knees of these. And he's had them for almost a year, probably maybe over a year. Um, so luckily they had these still and I got another pair. They are a good deal. I think they're $7.99. So they come with the long sleeve crew neck shirt and um, crew, um, long leggings as well. Um, and then as always, I always get a meal while I'm there. And I just got one for a few days from now so that we can have it um, for then for the weekend. I think it's Friday. Um, but yeah, these are the um, Kirkland Signature Pulled Beef Burritos, which we love. So good. Um, and then I got the extra crunchy Skippy peanut butter, which we literally have just used the last scoop yesterday. So that's great. And then over here, just Madison's bits that I always get. The Aptamil, um, ready to feed bottles. Um, if you see my video before, you know these are what I send with her to the childminders. And she's actually sometimes coming home not even drinking one at the childminders because she's obviously eating more foods. Um, watch my other videos as well because I explain why I'm still on stage one and not stage two because she is almost a year old. Um, and then her um, Aptamil formula for all the other times. So best deal I've found for three containers um saves you a bunch of money getting it that way and there's basically we use one a week so i sometimes have to top up and go to tesco and get another one 
So those are the best deal I can find. Um, the apps mill at Costco again, stage one, just because I've been told by health visitor, you don't have to go to stage two. It's just more sugars and it's just to kind of fill them up. But if she's eating loads, then she doesn't really need it, which it's worked for us. So, oh yes, you're selling me now. So that's my Costco haul for today. Okay, so this is my test, not my Tesco, my Aldi haul. Um, I got a lot of stuff today. I don't know. We were running really low because this is like a few days later than my Tesco and my Costco. And we were really running low on stuff. So I don't know if that's made a difference. But anywho, let's start over here. There's no rhyme or reason. I just loaded it on. <laughs> um, got some bananas. Um, Madison's been loving these. Obviously, Rich takes them to work as well. Um, some celery for me to have celery and peanut butter as a snack. And also, uh, we're doing the stew again um, this week in our meal. So that's going to be in the stew. Um, I've got some avocados just for all sorts. And then some blueberries. Again, try those with Madison. She didn't really like them last time. But try again. And then I can snack on those as well. Um, some salad tomatoes for all sorts of different things. Um, I got these sweet mini peppers. One, I could use them as snacking, and also I'm gonna cut them up and put them, I'm gonna make like those egg bites that they do at um, Starbucks. So I've got some of this to chop up and put in my egg bites. I've had them before for breakfast, really good. Um, some broccoli to stir fry this week. Some Braeburn British apples, um, cause I've been on a kick about apples and peanut butter. You can sense I love peanut butter. <laughs> so they've been good. Um, and then Brody will have that as a snack as well, apple and peanut butter. And then some lettuce for just whatever we need. Um, seedless white grapes. I also got the white grapes. Okay, so in my Costco haul, you see that I got grapes. I also get green grapes from Aldi just because. And actually, it's a few days later. I've done this haul, and we've almost eaten all those Costco grapes. So, because they're so good. <laughs> um, some of those mini meat stir sticks. So, like the pepperonis, but um, kind of the Aldi version. But I like these better, actually. Um, and then frozen stuff, skin on fries really good in the air fryer. Um, some carrots for basically dinners and also to go in the stew to bulk that up as well. Um, I got some German salami, um, just as snack stuff. And then some treats, so slices for snacks as well. Um, I got some more of these 10 satay chicken skewers. Uh, we haven't had these in a couple weeks, but um, Brody will have them in lunch and I can have them in my lunches at work and stuff. Um, two of these Carlos takeaway loaded pepperoni pizzas with cheese stuffed crust. So I got two of those. They like those better. When I've been buying the pizza, like the fresh ones at Aldi, the same like brand with stuffed crust, they haven't liked them as much lately. So they said the frozen ones were better tasting, but, um, that's the boys feedback. <laughs> Some British honey roast ham for sandwiches. Um, and then I got this, um, smoked pancetta. This I'm actually going to put in my... Um, smoked pancetta. So I'm going to put this in my egg bites. So it's really good. This and some pepper in your egg bites. Really good. Nice breakfast. Ready to go for me. Four battered cods. Um, the our favorites always chocolate chip cookie, um, ice cream sandwiches. These are so good. If you haven't tried them, me and Brody love these. <laughs> and then the four chicken strips with barbecue dip. They have changed the packaging. It used to look so much like McDonald's packaging and now they've changed it. And I think I can only assume the McDonald's have had a word with them I can I it was kind of close to kind of like branding so it was probably a situation like that but I can only assume that they're gonna taste the same right we hope because Brody loves those <laughs> um and then over here um I should have put this with me but anyway this is the pork casserole so this is the stew I talk about so it comes with all the meats in there and then you can see in there it's like potatoes onions red onion um celery and carrots are all in there. And what I'll do is just add some carrots and celery in it and bulk it up a bit. It's really good. We like it. Um, they have the Lemonade Prime there at mine today. And Brody has actually had this once before. Is the hydration, not the energy. Don't worry. Um, he's had this one before. Um, when our friends from America came over, we found it in like a little off license. And he really liked this one. So it's a Friday and I thought a little treat for him, right? When he gets home. Be surprised. So that's our drink section here. So three of these lemon and lime flavored sparkling waters, which I always get, um, Coke Zero, and then a big thing of semi skims milk. Okay. And then down here, um, we needed coffee beans like ASAP. Um, so I got the house blend, the three, um, always get these. We like these. They go good in our bean to cut machine. I got two of these mixed nuts, um, 
bags. So they have hazelnuts, cashew nuts, walnuts, and almonds in them. We really like these. I can snack on these all day. <laughs> so, and then for the boys kind of snacks, I got the rigid crisps again, the salt and vinegar, ready salted cheese and onion, and then also the other bacon sizzlers, flame grilled steak, and the Thai sweet chicken. Got those. Um, I got some more olive spread. They've changed the packaging on this again, but got what we usually get. Two of these Mexican style rices. So for our burritos or tacos on the side, really yummy. Love this stuff. And we actually don't have a microwave and it's obviously microwavable rice. I just put it in a, a saucepan on the stove, on the stove top and just put some water in it and cook it. And it turns out really good. So in case you're ever wondering if you don't have a microwave, we don't. So that's how we do that. Um, these digestives, I never bought these before except for the last time. If you saw my weekly grocery haul last time, you saw that we bought some digestives because Rich was with me and he picked them up and he's like, oh, they're only this much. I think he said they're like 70p, something really um, cheap compared to the two pound he spends at the co-op or whatever on his way to work. It's not something I usually buy because it's a snack item and I'm not like an unhealth uh, unhealthier snack. You're just like Aaron, you just bought chocolate chip cookie sandwiches, but I don't buy stuff like this. It's kind of him and Brody's like things they like. So Rich kind of buys that at the co-op, but I got him those because they were cheaper anyway, short story long. Um, I got some red luster cheese. We have been going without cheese this week and I don't know how I've survived. <laughs> um, and then I got my protein yogurt. It's my favorite. Um, I got four of these. I think I got three vanilla and one strawberry. And actually, you know, who loves these is Madison. I will give her one of her yogurts and I'll eat mine at the same time. And she wants mine so bad. She loves these. No, I don't give her the granola bit. I just give her the yogurt. So I don't know. She just loves it. I don't know if she just likes the vanilla because hers are different flavors. Um, I got her, again, her apple soft bis biscotti biscuits as a snack. And then back here, I don't know if you can see, some Foosley pasta. Um, some of the safari snacks for Brody's lunches. Um, I got myself some of these. Um, I've had these before. They're really nice. Pop work, sweet barbecue, um, popped crisps. So they're like just a bit healthier version. 45% um, less fat, never fried, vegan, gluten-free. I like these. They're nice. Um, the barbecue flavor, I like the barbecue ones. Uh, but yeah, they're a little snack for me. Um, some Hova soft white thick bread and my usual s sourdough loaf. Actually, I think this is different because it's um, seeded sour lo sourdough loaf. I don't know if I've had the seeded one before, but me and Brody will enjoy that this weekend for our breakfasts. Um, and then I got two of the eight tortilla wraps, the small ones for tacos. One time this month. They last for ages. Like the date on this is 23rd of Feb, so it gives me time to use those. Hot dog rolls for chili dogs one night this month. Those were going in the freezer and defrost closer to the time, which is always fine. They're fine. Never had a problem with them. Um, and then I got some 12 British free range eggs. Those again are for my like egg bites and breakfasts, etc. Um, and then I got, this is all the meat over here. So two of these salmon pieces, got two packs of those. So what I found in these salmon pieces is, is basically one like larger bit and then two like smaller bits. So we could feed all three of us, but uh, the smaller bits are kind of tiny for a meal. So probably still be hungry. So I got two of those anyway, because Brody might, Brody might eat that. Um, Madison, I could give it to Madison as well. I say three of us, but there's four of us now and she's getting more and more into the solid, like main meals with us. So anyway, I could feed someone with that. <laughs> and then I got two of these stir fries. They haven't had these in a while, the teriyaki beef stir fries, usually a chicken or pork. So I got this one because we really like this teriyaki beef stir fry. So I got two of those and that's what I'll have this week. One of these and put some extra broccoli in it to bulk it up as well with either some brown rice um, or some cauliflower rice, whichever one I feel on the night. <laughs> and I got two of the Essentials Unsmoked Streaky Bacon. This is the first time I've got this Essentials one. I usually get a different um, streaky bacon from there, but I thought this will do. It's the only one I could kind of see on the shelf. So got those. Um, and then six Lincolnshire pork sausages, and then the six of the Cumberland pork sausages. Always a staple in this house. Um, and then I got one of these chicken meals. So the two um, tomato mozzarella and balsamic chicken breast fillets. These are really good, really nice. Enjoy those a lot. Um, and then I just got some regular chicken breast fillets um, to do something different with this month. Um, and then our steaks, as usual, always get ourselves some steaks. So three steaks there, one for each, me, Brody, and Rich. Madison's not eating that yet. <laughs> and then a roasting joint for roast dinner one night this um, month. Again, that can go in the freezer, defrost it. We've never had a problem with it. 
Um, and then last, I think with the meat section is the lean beef steak mints, the 5%. I get the big, huge packs. And this month I got one, two, three, four of those. Cause I have one already in the freezer and I needed five of them this month for meals. So that's that side of the kitchen. I have had to move over to this side of the kitchen. So just bear with me. Um, I'll start over here. So some cupboard essentials. We needed some vegetable oil, ran out of that. Barbecue sauce. We got the Skeeter's original, really good. Love this stuff. Um, we got some tomato ketchup again, 50% less salt and sugar one. And then the lighter than light mayonnaise. Again, they're the Aldi own brands, never have tasted a difference. I'm like everyone in the house will eat it. It's fine. Um, some tomato puree for like pastas and stuff. Two chopped tomatoes. Three of these soups, Brody really likes this as well. So this is a good meal for us for like one of the swim nights or football nights, just quick and easy. Chunky beef and vegetable soup, just like the big soups, just cheaper, right? Um, and then one can of garden peas because we already had some in the cupboard left over from last month. Um, a chili con carne can for chili dogs one night. Some sour cream as always. Um, the four pack of the tuna chunks in spring water. Always get those in spring water and I get the four pack now. I used to get a couple at a time, but we just good to have on hand for like tuna sandwiches or pasta tuna bake. Easy peasy. And then sweet corn, um, two large cans of those. And then some more snackage, the dip it cheese dip with crackers, the four pack now with the um kind of the Ritz, the fake Ritz crackers ones. They like those better than the sticks. And then um, Madison loves these. And it's so funny, right? Because um, I used to get these for Brody all the time. And then he kind of got bigger. And he's like, no, I don't like those. We, he's kind of gone off yogurt altogether. But the other morning, I was giving Madison one of these. And he kind of looked at me and was like, oh, is there one for me? Can I have one? Is there an apricot one? Because that was his favorite. I was like, yeah, of course. Go ahead. But I, I, I do want to let you know that every time I put one in your lunch, you don't eat it. Second of all... I've been asking you every time I grocery, sh grocery shop, do you want those yogurts or any type of yogurt? And you're like, no, no, no. But now because we're all eating yogurt, he's like, yeah, I'll have one. So anyway, we'll see if he wants these ones this time. I might have to get another pack next week. I might have to get two packs. <laughs> anyway, um, two of the toilet tissue wipes for us. Um, I needed some more toothpaste. So I got the Colgate white teeth and I needed some mouthwash as well. So cool, cool mint mouthwash. Um, and then over here, some spaghetti, two of the spaghetti bolognese seasoning mixes just to top up. I always use those in my pastas, um, you know, like my spaghetti, my, um, lasagna, and then some baby bell. This is a quick snack. Um, might try giving those to Madison as well. See if she likes those. I'm talking about Madison, just loads of her stuff, just banana. So banana packs and apple packs. They basically look like these, but bananas and apples. And then I got two of the pears for her or three of the pears for her because some apples, bananas, pears. She loves these. She will eat these um, as like a little dessert or snack. And then I got these carrot and parsnip mini puffs for her. Um, and then just a bunch of her food that we usually get from there. Um, they are selling piccolo at the minute at Aldi during their baby event. So it is slightly cheaper than at Tesco, £1.90. Usually at Tesco, I think these were £1.30 or 40 So garden vegetable, um, three green risotto and coconut red Thai vegetable curry. So I got those. So just a handful. Um, and then two of the sauces, uh, I got the sauce for meatballs, tomato and basil, two of those for my pastas. Again, I have used those the last few times and taste really good. And then we got her a couple of these. These were 95 P like so much cheaper than the packets. Like these small ones, seven months plus are 75 P. So obviously a little bit more expensive, but the large ones for her for 10 month plus at, are 149. So twice the prices of these ones. And a lot more than these ones so I got her these so we'll see how these go vegetable and beef hot pot with chunks obviously they're 12 months she's literally 12 months in two weeks so we'll just get her cracking on those and then bolognese pasta bake with chunks so we'll see how she likes those they should be interesting and then I actually got myself a chicken and bacon layered salad for me right now because I'm starving it's actually way past lunch time but I haven't had lunch and I'll just eat that I have a meeting for work in like 20 minutes so I'll eat that quickly before I go on there but I'm trying to fit this all in and do some work tonight anyway um and then some toilet tissue that we needed we desperately needed I need to really stock up on this so that's why I got the big pack and then some nappies for Madison we she's in size five still so there's 72 in these so really like these and really recommend them never have an issue so happy with those if anyone's ever wondering 
So that is all of my grocery haul from Aldi today. So as you can see, it's lots of stuff and I better crack on and put it away because I have a meeting soon. So I will now tell you um, how much I spent uh, all together and also my meals for the week. Okay, so I have to admit those grocery hauls were filmed on different days and I'm doing this on a different day. It's I work full time. Um, I do have a full time job. So basically the Costco and the Tesco was done on a Monday night after work and it was payday and we needed groceries. We needed formula, etc. cetera. So, um, and then I basically didn't get time until Friday, which was yesterday to go to Aldi. And I had to do that after work again. It was just rush, rush, rush. It's just crazy busy at work and just with the kids and everything, just finding time. Um, but I managed to do it, which I was happy. And we kind of just, we didn't have takeaways or splurge money at other grocery stores. We just basically used what we had to kind of get us by the week, but we made it. Okay. So sorry if you can hear a baby crying in the background. She's um disgruntled. We've just had dinner. Um, and well, she's just had dinner and she's tired and we've been out all afternoon. So I apologize. <laughs> um, but Rich is with her. She's not on her own. Okay. She's with Rich and Brody. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it was filmed over a couple of days and then I've just done my intro and my outro another day, just trying to fit it in guys. So I want to get a video up. So this is how I've had to do it this week. But anyway, uh, totals for this uh, month for my monthly grocery haul. So at Tesco is 57 pound 09. Um, and then at Costco is 85 pound 45. Um, obviously that at Costco includes his under Brody's under armor, which I will take out of the kids budget. Um, so not on the grocery budget. And then at Tesco, there was a few cleaning things that I will take out of the household budget and not groceries, but this is my total spend. And then Aldi, um, yesterday I spent 207 pound 38. So quite a big chunk at Aldi, um, so yeah, I've done a bit of damage, but um, if you haven't seen it yet, look at my um, January budget with me video that was on last week. Um, I'll try and link it here um, for you guys, but it outlines what our budget is with groceries and everything else really, and how I budget on, on things like that. Um, and then I will have a new video coming up soon, which was payday routine. So you guys can see how my payday goes. And that's actually when I started the shopping, <laughs> it was the same day. So yeah, you'll understand how the budgets and when I say about toiletries budget or kids budget or groceries budget, you'll work all that out um, if you watch those videos. And I really enjoy doing the finance videos, so please let me know what you guys think. Um, so yeah, those are my totals for this month for my grocery, my monthly grocery haul. And then um, the weekly meal plan. So what is going on this week? So tonight we're actually going to have a takeaway. We've... Um, been out most of the day at my parents house just um hanging out we had to um do some other stuff this morning soccer was canceled this morning because it's freezing cold as i said and the ground is frozen so we couldn't play soccer this morning so brody was gutted about that so i took him to um sports direct and shoe just to because he has christmas money it's burning a hole in his pocket so he actually bought some new trainers today and he found some cherry blast cherry blast prime i think it's called anyway he hadn't had that one so we got that that's his little shopping this morning so we did that and then after that we came and got rich and we all just went to my parents for the afternoon um so just hung out and had some fun um so we've just got home long story short basically <laughs> or short story long is what's happening here and madison's hungry fed her dinner and what we've decided to is we're gonna have a kebab takeaway uh, yeah we're gonna have a kebab <laughs> um we have a great kebab van near us and they're really good and that's what we decided tonight um so when i'm gonna take madison to bed rich is gonna go pick it up and we'll eat in the kind of more peaceful relaxing <laughs> without madison um trying to steal food off our plate the whole time so anyway that's what's tonight and then tomorrow is gonna be sunday and we're gonna do spaghetti Monday is bruschetta chicken. So I've seen it on Instagram. It's like a new recipe I've seen. I'm going to try it out and it's low carb, which I'm going to try and get better at and do a bit more healthy eating. She's fine. I promise if you can hear crying, I really apologize. She's with Rich. She's fine. She's just really, she's ready for bed, but we got to kind of drag it out a little bit. <laughs> um, and then Tuesday is going to be salmon and veg and then maybe some little um, roasted potatoes on the side or brown rice or whatever people prefer and then wednesday is 
soccer practice. So quick meal, stir fry, that's what that stir fry kit's gonna be. And then some broccoli to kind of bulk it out. And I'll have that with some brown rice as well. Thursday, again, is swimming night. So we have to do a quick meal then. What I've, I will use that stew pack um, that night. So I'll just throw it in the slow cooker in the morning um, on low and just cook it all day. And I'll add the celery and the carrots to that and some little potatoes and just bulk it up again and then serve that in the evening for swimming. And Brody likes that as well, so that's perfect. And then Friday night is taco night. Um, hopefully that'll be okay because Brody has a birthday party that night for his friends, so hopefully we can get that sorted. And then Saturday is steak and jacked potatoes. And then Sunday is pasta tuna bake, which again, easy peasy, just easy Sunday meal. Everyone will eat it. It takes me 20 minutes to make, if that. And he has another birthday party that day, so hopefully we can get that done and it won't be too uh, much for the day and busy, busy, busy. <laughs> but anyway, so that's my menu for this week. Um, and then that is my monthly grocery haul done and dusted. Another one done. I have to say, like I said at the beginning, like it really helps my budgeting. It really helps like my schedule and it really helps like being prepared for meals. Um, but it is a big job. I did think this month I was like, oh my gosh, I, I kind of dreaded going to get all the stuff, especially going to Aldi. It's so much stuff. Um, but hey, it does work out and I'm glad when I did it, but it was a struggle bus to get myself out there this month. So if you guys do monthly grocery hauls as well or shopping the same as me, like, do you feel that? Like comment below, like, do you feel like the dread to go and do it? But once it's done, it's great. It's just a lot to get done. I'm finding the time to do it. Um, but yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think if you do monthly grocery haul. And then also just comment below if you like this video um, and what you guys are up to. Um, now that it's so cold and wintry, I don't know, depending on where you live. Um, I know my friends in California are enjoying quite nice weather. It's not too cold at all. So I'm jealous. But anyway, um, hope you guys have a wonderful week. And um, as I say, check out my last video with um, my January budget with me. And then coming up, I will obviously have my weekly top up grocery haul and also a payday routine video if you're interested in the finance stuff. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care and have a great week. Bye guys. <music>